what's going on everybody tj Cohen here welcome back to the channel farm some news baby farm some news. today we got 71 mods on the testing list and we got seven modders to talk about so let's jump right in starting off today with the mod testing list which has gotten shorter with only 71 mods in testing down from 20 yesterday and there's even a bunch more in testing for console which is great news no fs19 mods in testing today though one thing that has stayed the same since yesterday, however, is the amount of maps. There's 17 maps in testing currently, if I counted correctly, down from about 10 yesterday. We've got some great names like East Vineland, New Jersey, USA, Mecklenburg Lake District, the Western Wilds, and an update to the Frankenmuth farming map, to name a few. There's also a ton of other things like tractors, equipment, and some other things that I'm not sure what they are, <laughs> just like always. Today's testing list is extremely complete, as it's got a little bit for everybody I love that if you want to take a closer look at it i will have a link at the top of the description and with all that being said we still have 490 mod city waiting to be tested which is up 35 from yesterday and the current average waiting time newly submitted mods is 17 work days two more than yesterday do keep in mind work days means monday through friday so that's going to be may 19th if you're counting at home little ways away yikes jumping into modern news bc bueller is back with us today with some new information on the status of his mac grain hauling pack he says the mod did fail testing and has some issues to fix on the trucks with a few of them being kind of interesting saying that they're identical to the in-game super liner hmm either way bc bueller says that the fixes should only take a few days and he'll hopefully have the mod pack resubmitted for testing for all platforms within the next week if you'd like to see the mods up close and personal i've already released a first look on that pack you can find that link below. JHHG Modding has some more information on his John Deere 7810. I know you guys have been asking about it, so let's check it out. This was made between 1998 and 2002. It's going to cost you about a hundred grand. There's two wheel drive versions and four wheel drive versions with all different types of wheels and tires and an extreme amount of customization options. It is a fully Americanized model with attachable saddle tanks, realistic values, and all safety labels and decals with a front loader, Starfire 3000, and animation steering bars and front hydraulic cylinders on the two-wheel drive version the mod is with giants waiting testing for all platforms however pc players can grab it now as jhht modding has released an early version on his facebook page leave that link in the description if you want to grab it for yourself agritron modding is back with us today with a modified version of the base game truck already submitted for testing on mod hub shown here we've got two versions on the left is more of a work truck with a flatbed full bar and some new rims and on the right we have more of a farm style truck with some wooden slats above the truck bed with no additional features from the base game at least that i could tell we've seen changes like this in the past to base game trucks and usually they turn out pretty popular so i'm excited to see how these do connect modding shows us what i believe to be the last piece of equipment coming with the jam pack this saturday on mod hub for all platforms the taker magnu 35000 do keep in mind this is all translated this is going to cost you eighty two thousand dollars can be found in the self-loading trailer <laughs> I have no idea what that could be. It's got a 35,000 liter capacity. For what, though, is the big question. And it is recommended to use a large tractor with it. Additionally, there are additional tandem and common versions, as stainless and carbon versions, and there are various types of tires. Like I said, this was all translated from Portuguese, so I have no idea what half of this means. About two weeks ago, Connect Modding showed off this screenshot of the three pieces of equipment that we knew about at the time. And since then, we've seen a new corn head that we didn't know about, and now this trailer that we didn't know about. So I would assume that the five mods in total are complete, and now we know all the pieces of equipment coming with the pack. Again, it's going to be released this Saturday on Mod Hub for all platforms. Hispano Modding is working on a new mod, the Yuxel Terum T34 Manure Spreader. This is a new Turkish company, which he is collaborating with on the project, meaning this could be a new brand for all platforms. This thing is massive with four axles, huge spreader, and much more. It's currently in the modeling process, but he's making quick work of it. FLSD94 says that his map Shire Farm is now completed and has been submitted for testing. Since there's about 15 workday waiting time, at least when he submitted it yesterday, it's going to be about three weeks before we see it on the testing list. He has mentioned that the aim is to get the mod out for all platforms, although there are some custom bits on the map, so we'll have to wait and see if it's accepted for consoles or just for PC. Also, I would assume that the lighting won't be like this in game. It's a little bit oversaturated, and by that I mean a lot oversaturated, and this will be extremely exhausting on your eyes to play like this for an extended period of time. Fingers crossed that it won't be like this. And lastly today, Nitro Dad has added some pigs to his map, Middleburg, but these just aren't any pigs. They're water pigs. 
<laughs> I'm just messing with you. He says that it took almost an entire day to build a custom pig farm, only to have the pig spawn under the pond. Sometimes things don't always work the way you would expect them to when you're modding, and I think water pigs are a prime example. Hashtag water pigs. He's back at it to bring the pigs back to the surface as we speak, and I'll bring you guys more information as we get it. Keep in mind, this map, Middleburg, is for PC only. Unlike the self-aware segue to the outro, it's for all platforms, but let's be honest, this outro would fail testing every time. Marcel would never allow it. Oh well, tell for a segue. Still in testing, just like every episode of Farm Sim News. Links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I did not talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you want to know about and that you need to know about going on in the world of farming simulator well guys that is going to be it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new join the gohan fam make sure notification bells are on as well double check them that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel i'll be sad i hope you have a great day and we will see you later I don't know if you noticed, but I'm trying to streamline Farm Sim News a little bit, keep everything a little bit shorter, to the point, less opinionated, more informative. What do you think?